Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont. Good morning, everyone. I, I should say good morning first, of course, to the soldiers, but to the parents and the brothers, the sisters, the grandparents, the uncles, the aunts, the nieces, the nephews, the sons and daughters, the neighbors, the friends, because this morning I think Marcel and I have met with so many of you that fit in all those different categories. We were talking about this, the two of us, as we drove over from our home in Middlesex this morning, and we know that this is an incredibly emotional day, and we know that it's a time that's weighed heavily on you. We know it's a difficult morning, and we appreciate, Marcel and I appreciate the fact you allow us to share it with you. So that we can tell you how proud we are of you, for your sense of service, your dedication to your mission and to each other, and your willingness to place yourself in harm's way. General Doobie spoke about this yesterday to the Vermont legislature, and what he said tells all Vermonters that we are forever in your debt. Your commanding officer, Colonel Roy, turned down a promotion to the rank of general in order to stay with your troops. That says more than words ever could. That says an awful lot about the Green Mountain Boys. Because you bring knowledge and experience and traits from the towns and villages from Vermont, that's going to be invaluable to your Afghan partners. But beyond that, you bring the best training that Vermont National Guard has ever had. Recently at a meeting with President Obama, Secretary Bob Gates, and Admiral Mike Mullen, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, I talked again about the Vermont National Guard. Admiral Mullen noted that I always talk to them about the Vermont National Guard because you give me bragging rights. And he called me at home a few weeks ago to tell me what he's also told General Doobie that he, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, will come up here for one of these ceremonies on Friday. He's doing it because he's heard so much about you. He wants to see you personally. That says an awful lot about who you are. I've traveled to Afghanistan. I've gone to where you're going to be. I know what you bring to it. I will go to Atterbury later this month to again to watch the training you're getting, but also to remind the Department of Defense that we Vermonters care about you. We care that you get the right equipment. We care that you get the best training. And we care that you're supported in your mission. So it's with great admiration and great thanks that I stand before you. And know that Marcel and I, like all Vermonters, will keep you in our thoughts and our prayers. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen.